Praise the Lord, Saints. This is Pastor Willie E. Hoskins, Jr., amen, pastor of the Assembly of the Saints Church No. 2, right here in the beautiful city of Norfolk, on Virginia Beach Boulevard, 2801. Hallelujah. We thank God for being with you. I thank God for you joining us today. We have a word for you. Amen. In this day, in this time, the things that we're going through, we're facing a giant of an issue. But I want you to understand one thing, that Jesus is with you. Sit with us. Listen to the word of God as we journey and get a resolution to what God is trying to say to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks. Amen. We thank God for you, you, and you. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to give honor to our co-pastor. Amen. My wife, my first lady, your first lady, but my only lady. Amen. Co-pastor Hoskins. That song, amen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You know, you ought to take that song with you everywhere you go. Amen. You ain't got but a little light, amen, but you got to let it shine. You know, Jesus said in his word that we will be like a candle that sits upon a hill, amen. That light can't be darkened, amen. Hallelujah, what a wonderful song. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. We want to give honor to, amen, also our late Bishop George F. Haskins, amen. Pastor Diane Haskins, who was the overseer of this similar the Saints, number one, Number two and number two. We also want to give honor to Hallelujah Bishop Fountain, Amen, who is with us every Sunday. All of our clergy, our ministers, deacons, Amen, evangelists, Amen, missionary, Amen. Each and every one in the household of faith. My daughters, my grandkids, my son-in-laws, Amen. Praise the Lord. You, you, and you. We thank God for you all, Amen. Hallelujah. If it had not been for Jesus. I don't know where I would be. Amen. I say that often because it's true. And it should relate to you as well. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Where would we have ended up? Amen. What would have been our outcome? What would the verdict be? But Jesus Christ, good God Almighty, and God the Father got together and said, we got to save him some kind of way. And I thank God for him vindicating us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. I'm not going to be before you long. I got a little scriptures, amen, that you all are familiar with. I'll be coming from Isaiah 54, verse 17. Matthew, verse, I mean, chapter 10, verses 19 and 20. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll give you a few minutes to get them. Amen. It's Isaiah 54 and 17. Matthew 10, 19 and 20. Amen. Very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. But I love it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word reads, Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say that right quick. Say, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, hallelujah, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Matthew 10, verses 19 and 20. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word. Let us pray. Father, in the matchless, miraculous name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you come into these proceedings and bless us. Give us a word. Hallelujah. Open our hearts and our mind that we may be able to serve you daily. Saturate this place with your spirit as I speak. And you increase in me, and I decrease that your people will receive your word wholeheartedly. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you, and the blood of Jesus stands against you. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For each and every one who was here again. My thought for this evening is simply, Jesus is with you. Amen. Jesus 
is with you. Amen? Amen. We have faced a giant when dealing with this pandemic. Amen? Amen. And although there is a vaccine, it still seems that there's no way out. We're still told to wear our mask and, and, and practice social distancing. We can't travel. Families can't come together because we're trying to protect one another. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. It's in this time of the year, hallelujah, when the spirit of loneliness and depression was set in. Automatically because it's the holidays. Amen? And we tend to miss our loved ones, those that have gone on before us. There have been some relationships that have been broken that we want to repair. And the holidays just does something to us when this thing happens. Amen? And sometimes we begin to dwell on those things. The things that we've done in our past. Come on, somebody. Things that we are ashamed of. You know those things that you never told nobody. You only told to Christ. Come on, somebody. And that thing will come upon us, and that spirit will latch itself upon us, and the enemy, good God Almighty, will try to use that to oppose his will upon us. He tried to bully us into submission. Amen? But Jesus told his disciples, he said, when they, good God Almighty, persecute you, those who have authority, amen, when they persecute you, amen, hallelujah, for preaching this gospel, for believing on me, for doing it as I, I, as I have told you to do, he told them to don't prepare in advance what you're going to say, amen. You don't have to rehearse, come on somebody, what you're going to say to defend yourself, amen. He said because, good God Almighty, the Holy Spirit the Spirit of God, the Spirit of my Father which liveth in you will give you what to say in a time like that. Amen? Amen. Just like Jesus was able to refute, amen, every tongue that challenged his righteousness, we've got that same power. The power of Christ resides in us. Amen? Mm -hmm. For we are the discernment of the living God and we depend on him to defend us. Therefore, we can't speak like, oh my, I feel good right now. We can't speak like we want to speak. Amen. We can't act like we want to act. Amen. We can't do what we want to do. We just got to stand still like Moses and the Israelites and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes it's best to be silent so God can work it out. And then your accusers cannot accuse you of anything but being silent. Amen. I think on the time when they brought him before Pilate and they questioned him and the word said, but he said not a thing. Amen. He did not utter a word. Amen. Because he knew who he was and what his mission is. Do you know who you are and what your mission is? If not, I'm here to let you know today that Jesus is with you. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. First of all, we find in Isaiah that the word speaks of no weapons. Amen. No weapon that is formed, that is forged, that is made, hallelujah, that is produced. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. This is because the enemy has come up with new and extraordinary ways to combat the church. Come on, somebody. Amen. To divide and conquer. Amen. Because he wants to, the, hallelujah, to defeat the allies of Christ. Amen. amen. So he comes up with all these different things, amen, to defeat us, to break us down. But you've got to remember that Jesus told the disciples, he said, on this rock. I will build my church, and the very gates of hell will not prevail against it. Matthew 16 and 18, amen. Amen. Listen, we may suffer, come on somebody, some casualties. Oh, in every battle, in every war, there's going to be some casualties, amen. We may suffer some casualties, amen, but don't you let your guard down. Remember, Jesus is with you. Hallelujah. And he cannot, the enemy shall not win the battle, amen. He shall not overcome or prevail against us, amen. Hallelujah. We will see the coming of our Lord amen. and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. And Satan and all these spirits will be defeated, amen. 
then secondly I want you to understand that he says every tongue that rise against you in judgment shall be condemned hallelujah in two ways first of all our accusers good God almighty hallelujah hallelujah the accusers they have no power that's what you got to understand amen they, they, they come against us but they have no power the only power that they have against us good God almighty is if we believe what they're coming against us with amen come on somebody they're Tongues round against us day and night. They're trying to turn out everything that God has built up. Right. And if you will believe what they say, how do you, you dishonor the word of God? Amen. Secondly, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Those that rise up against us, hallelujah, God has already promised us that he will give us power. Hallelujah. To prevail against it. Amen. You got to believe that. Why? Because we walk by what? Say it somebody. Faith and not by sight. It's not what you project in front of me. It's not what you show me, Satan. It's not what you tell me that's happening. It's that which I can't see. That is what I believe. Like the fact that I go away to prepare a place for you. And there where I am, you will be also. You got to believe that. Listen, saints, Jesus is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to speak and will speak through his servants. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand one thing. Amen. That we have been vindicated. Amen. We have been, hallelujah, set, hallelujah, on high. We sit in heavenly places because Jesus is with us. Pastor, what you trying to say? I'm trying to say, and I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody out there, under the sound of my voice, amen, might or may be already depressed. Amen. You may be already feeling lonely. You might be missing mama, brother, sister, son, hallelujah, husband, wife, I don't know, cousin, hallelujah, and this thing will thrust you into a hole, amen, of depression, amen. The enemy wants to try to subdue you. He wants you to submit because he's after one thing and that's your soul. If he can depress you and oppress you and seduce you and get you to believe his words, good God almighty, he will eventually get you to commit suicide. I'm talking to somebody today and I want you to understand, you gotta speak to that spirit and let him know that Jesus is with me, amen. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. This is the season, hallelujah, hallelujah, wherein Jesus Christ is his most powerful in your life. If you will have him, if you will believe in him, if you will believe on him as the scriptures I said, Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Do you believe the saints today, saints? Amen. Hallelujah. He said he was going away to prepare this place, and we were going to be there. He reported back to his disciples after ascending up to heaven and descending back. Hallelujah. He let them know, hallelujah, that we are to go, amen, us know, that we are to go into all the world, preaching and teaching the gospel, amen, and know wherever you are, I am with you always. I want you to rely on them words. When those spirits come around you, when those demons try to react, hallelujah, act up, you stand up and you say, Jesus is with me, hallelujah, in the flame, he's with you, in the fire, he's with you, in the lion's den, he's with you, when you've got to cross the river, he's with you, when ever comes about, through sickness, through health, and disease, when you got money, when you ain't got no money, food on your table, no food, when ever comes about in this day and this time, hallelujah, when the enemy is using the pandemic to devour the churches of God, I want you to understand that he is with us, Jesus is with us, we might can't meet like we want to meet, but continue to do this telephone until he devours the pandemic, God will make things all right, Jesus is with you, saints. Amen. Hallelujah. I just wanted to 
you to know that. I told you I won't go be before you long. But I want you to know it, amen, that he's with you. And it don't matter what went on and what we went through. We've got a greater reward ahead, amen. We've got a greater reward awaiting us, amen. Hallelujah. Where I am, you remember that. Where I am, you will be also. Somebody ought to touch something, set yourself, touch your neighbor, look in the mirror right quick. I'm going to give you two, three seconds. Find you a mirror. Hallelujah. Don't play with me now. Look in the mirror if you can't look at nobody. And say, Jesus, come on, is with me. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage you in this day and this time. And the things that we got to go through and the casualties we have to suffer, amen. Remember, the battle, hallelujah, belongs to God. Amen. amen. Jesus is with you. Hallelujah. Saints, if there's anybody out there, hallelujah, who needs to give their life to the Lord, this is the time. Amen. Paul say, I found my strength, hallelujah, when I was weak in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Strength comes through Jesus. He will give you the Holy Spirit to keep you, to lead you, to guide you into all truth, and to combat against the principalities of this world. Evil doers. Amen. And all the things that may come against you. Hallelujah. Jesus will be with you. Do you want to give your life to him? If so, just repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come with to you as humble as I know how, giving you all that I am. At this time, Lord, I want to confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. He is your Son, and He will save me. And I believe this in my heart, hallelujah, that I am saved. At this moment, at this time, I give it to you. I renounce Satan, hallelujah, and I renounce sin. And I turn out from my wicked ways because I know Jesus is with me. Now raise your hands and repeat after me. Say, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. Hallelujah. If you repeated that prayer, amen, then you are saved. It doesn't stop there. You need to find you a church, amen. Somebody who's preaching the gospel, letting the book talk, amen. And we invite you, when we do open up, to come here. Hallelujah. First lady, co-pastor Hoskins, will give you the word of God, amen. Straight from the Bible, something that will keep you, because when everything else fails, the word of God is going to stand. Stand, hallelujah, here. Come here, hallelujah, me, myself, and I, amen. Along, hallelujah, with the Holy Spirit leading me, amen, will give you the same, amen. Love, amen, that you may be able to stand in these last and evil days. We're right here at 2801 East Virginia Beach Boulevard in the beautiful city of Norfolk, Virginia. If you get a chance, Stop by. Saints, remember, Jesus is with you. Say it to yourself. Jesus is with me. Amen. Until next time, I bid you Godspeed.